So guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope everything's good wherever you are. Uh, so guys, there's some big, big news uh, come out. Um, guys, ne just, just, just before we start, smash the like button. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't hit the subscribe button. Um, smash the notif no notification bell. Uh, share the videos, please. I really appreciate everyone's support. Thanks for supporting the channel. Thanks for helping me grow. Guys, next, uh, obviously next week we've got the f uh, big fight between Joshua and Usyk. I will be doing a lot of videos uh, about that particular fight. Um, so stay tuned. I will be, you know, next week is going to be focused mainly around that and there's going to be a lot of videos made about it. Uh, but what I wanted to talk about is, guys, Plant and Canelo is not on Fox pay-per-view. I actually said it would be on Fox pay-per-view. Now, I know that obviously Al Heyman also works with Showtime. Uh, Al Heyman works with Showtime as well. So it's not... I, what, you know what? I said that this was going to be on Fox pay-per-view. It's actually not on, on Fox pay-per-view. It's on Showtime pay-per-view, which is quite surprising because we know that a lot of Al Heyman pay-per-views are on Fox. Now, I don't know why. Is it Fox pulling out? Because Fox... Apparently, the pay-per-views on Fox haven't been that great of, rate, of late. I don't know. I'll be speculating, so I'm not going to go into it. Um, but Showtime didn't really have any big fights. Now, Showtime have managed to get this big, big fight with Canelo and Plant. This is a big, big coup for Showtime. Because I know Showtime have been doing a lot of Javante Davis fights. I believe they did Javante Davis fights, and I can't remember. I think all of the all of the Al Heyman fighters were over onto onto Fox now, so this is a massive coup for, especially for Showtime to get this big an event. Is this a, a thing of the future? Is this what it's going to be like? Is Al Heyman fighters now going to go back to Showtime because they were originally with Showtime, but then Fox came in and Fox and they did a deal with Fox. So is it because the the numbers haven't been great? We just don't know, but. Canelo Alvarez fighting Plant on, on Showtime pay-per-view. Still, we haven't, I don't know if there's any information on, there's any information on what, what broadcaster is going to take it here in the UK because obviously I'm not, I'm not American so, and we live in the UK so I don't know what, what broadcaster is going to be showing that fight here in the UK because obviously it's a fight that we're definitely going to be interested in. Is Sky going to take it? Is BT going to take it? Is, um, you know, is it going to be aired on one of the fight TV? I hope not. I hope, I hope one of the main, I'm pretty sure Sky will be doing all it can to get hold of that big fight. Now we know that Pacquiao and Ugas, Sky got, got that fight. So hopefully they can get this fight. The only thing is about a fight like Canelo Plant, I don't know whether they'll try to do it on a, on a, some, someone, somewhere like Fight TV because they might want to put it on pay-per-view. And I don't think a Canelo Plant fight will be a, is a pay-per-view fight here in the UK four in the morning. I just don't think it makes sense because even uh, Canelo Saunders was on DAZN. Now, I don't know whether they strike a deal with DAZN and DAZN show it. Um, or are they going to look to do it on a on a pay-per-view platform like Fight TV? But I just think a fight of that magnitude to be on Fight TV. I've got nothing against Fight TV. I just think one of the main broadcasters like a Sky Sports should be bidding for that. But I don't know. Again, it depends on what what um, Canelo and uh, Canelo Plant and what those guys want. If they feel that they can make more money from a uh, um, you know a pay-per-view platform, uh, then maybe they may they may go down that route. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I am I am intrigued to see what platform are going to get it here in the UK. Um, so it's going to be also interesting to see. I'm pretty sure this pay per view price is it going to be hundred quid? Is it going to be eighty quid? I'm pretty sure it's going to be something top range because it's Canelo v Plant and it's an undisputed fight. It's a massive fight with a lot of meaning, with a lot of history behind it. So there's a lot on the line here. Um, I'm I'm really intrigued to know what's going to happen with Fox moving forward. Uh, because like I said, Fox were hosting all the fights. They were the ones that were doing all the big fights. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what their future is going to be. Are they? Are, is this a sign that you know Al Heyman is going to go back to Showtime and do and do more fights with them? I, I don't know. I don't know because I'm pretty sure I can't. I don't know the status of the deal, but Al Heyman had signed a deal with Fox. I know that Javante Davis, who I'm pretty sure is managed by Al Heyman also fights on Showtime. So there are still certain fighters of, of uh, Al Heyman that fight on Showtime. Um, but yeah, Canelo Plant will happen on Showtime pay-per-view, which is, you know, initially was reported it would happen on Fox. So I don't know what's happened there. Don't know. We can only speculate. I don't know. I don't, I, I, I don't know. But again, you know, a lot of the Americans, I spoke to a lot of the Americans 
and the pay-per-view price there i think i think we find some of the pay-per-view prices in america crazy but we've got used to we obviously used to a certain price here in the uk and, and you guys are playing almost triple you know four times what we pay sometimes so you know joshua's fight against Usyk next week is 24.95 and a lot of the fans seem to be complaining about that a lot of the fans are complaining about 24.95 and that's that that's not like i'm pretty sure evander holyfield with vitor belfort was uh how much was that wasn't that like 50 quid so you know and we're paying half of that almost nearer on half for a you know unified heavyweight championship fight you know amongst one of the biggest stars in the sport of boxing in joshua he's one of the biggest stars today so yeah it's, it's definitely it is it's definitely we're paying a lot less than what the you know our american counterparts are over in america but i'm i'm just waiting i can't wait for this canelo plant fight i just think it's a massive fight and i'm just glad it's happening you know there was a lot of shenanigans before and we thought the politics of boxing was going to get in the way so i'm just happy uh that it's happening um and i'm pretty sure a lot of the americans even though they have to pay per view i think they're happy and a lot of people will be willing to pay the pay-per-view because it's a massive fight and i think fans aren't fans have got no problem with paying pay-per-view like, i got no problem with paying pay-per-view for joshua Usyk. i know it's a great fight fans have but hardcore boxing fans have no problem with paying pay-per-view for a fight of magnitude like joshua Usyk canelo plant because we know these are the fights that are going to make boxing great you know these are the fights that get us excited that get get us want, wanting to watch the sport when we get the when we get the best fight in the best you know, and the same would happen with Terence Crawford, uh, um, Errol Spence. Fans don't complain about pay-per-view prices generally. Uh, I know I said earlier Joshua Usyk, but you're always going to get certain fans that are going to complain. But on the overall, the fans know that's a great fight. And the fans know that's a fight worth paying for. Same with Canelo Plant. The fans know that's a fight worth paying for. So no, the fans aren't going to complain. It's when you're doing pay-per-view fights and the and the... The fight's not that great or the fight's not worthy of pay-per-view. That's when fans complain. When you're putting on a pay-per-view event, when fans don't think it's worth a pay-per-view. When it's a great fight and it's a fight that the fans are, fans are up for, you know, the, the fans won't say anything about the pay-per-view price because they're so eager to watch the fight and they're so excited that the fight, that such a great fight has been made. But when it's a fight that they don't really want to see and they see it on pay-per-view and they'd probably watch the fight if it wasn't pay-per-view... That's when they get a bit annoyed because they don't think that's worthy of pay-per-view. And I think that's when fans get upset. Um, in this in this case, I don't again, I think Canelo Plant, I don't think even if it's 100 quid or $100, sorry, I don't think fans are going to be as upset because I think they're just more excited that the fight's happening. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what price point they, they have it at. You know, I know that they have 17, 79.99 and then they have 49.99 and they also have 99.99. That's for, like, I'm pretty sure the Mayweather Pacquiao wasn't that 99.99 dollars, but that was just a mega, mega event. So I think the really, really mega fights, they have, a, a, you know, the, the highest, which is 99.99, which is seems very, very expensive. Uh, but like I said, the the Americans are used to paying that. Uh, just like we're used to paying twenty pounds, twenty five pounds here in the UK, they're used to that. So, the obviously the the situation there is a completely different to what it is here. But I just can't wait. I just can't wait. Irregardless of what it's going to be, what what broadcaster it's going to be on, I think it's just a fight that we're all excited and we all can't wait to happen. Um, and yeah, it's just we're just glad. We're just glad that it's been made. We're glad that, you know, we get to see history. We get to see another undisputed champion. We have Josh Taylor in the 140 pound division. We're going to have one in the 168. We should have had one in the 154 pound division. Unfortunately, unfortunately, you know, we got a draw uh, and we didn't get to see a champ, uh, champ uh, you know, undisputed champion. And that's the goal in every weight class to, to, to hail an undisputed champion. And I do see that there's... <laughs> There's a, there's a lot more push in that direction to get an undisputed champion, which is good for the sport of boxing. I think that's what we need. We need to see an undisputed champion be crowned. We need to see somebody, be, we need to see more fighters be crowned undisputed and see who the number one is. Because because of so many belts, people are confused to who the champion is. And with the Josh Taylor uh, situation becoming world champion, I think it's obviously great for uh, boxing where you get to see one champion. 
And that's what we want to see in the sport of boxing. We want to see one champion. We want to see one name, one face. Uh, and hopefully we can get that in the heavyweight division. Hopefully we can get that in the biggest glamour divisions like your welterweight divisions, like your middleweight divisions, like your heavyweight divisions. These are divisions where if we can get those, that to happen, where we can get an undisputed champion crown, um, that will go a long way. That will make boxing great again because the casual fans are interested in in you know the the those glamour divisions like your welterweight divisions like your middleweight divisions like your heavyweight divisions because those are the divisions that are usually the ones that you know draw in the crowd they're the ones that people normally watch they've been the glamour divisions over the years so yeah it's it's great that we get to see it uh what do you guys make of it though that canelo alvarez v caleb plant will happen on showtime pay-per-view leave your thoughts let me know what you think guys let me know what you think in the comment section guys make sure to smash the like button as always uh, hopefully I'll try to do a live today. Uh, let's see if I can do it. I'll, it I'm, I will inform you guys if I'm going to go live later on. But yeah, leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you're thinking. Guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.